black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, you know me. Once BK the Whopper infects the mind, it is like a virus. And you got to get it. I'm going to tell you the truth, though, up front, off top. This is a subpar 5 out of 10 uh, BK experience today. I'll let you know why. I think I was dealing with either a new inexperienced and perturbed employee or, <laughs> understandable, I get it, or um, someone who is just overworked, exhausted, ain't got time for the shit and doesn't give a shit anymore, possibly. And that's fine too. Uh, we understand these stresses. But anyways, Whoppers are, are what's up. Let's get a bite. I'll have a little chat. Okay. As you'll notice, what's already bothering me is like, there's no lettuce to be seen. And lettuce, an overload of lettuce on a Whopper is like what is, it's very crucial to me. But it is what it is. Also the onion rings. I did get an onion rings and added them to that. So, you'll see there's like minimal lettuce. A little bit there. You all know that I like to rip heavy all, heavy all meaning heavy all ingredients. So extra this, extra, extra all, just load it up. And uh, there's like zero lettuce almost on this. But when I pulled up to the drive-thru on the mic, the tone coming through the box from the, from the headset lady, young woman, was a I'm about to quit type tone. And so my request of heavy all, no onions, I don't think was very much cared for. Or she's new and didn't know how to do it. I'm not sure which. But the burgers came with the raw onion on them. Whatever, I'll pick them off. Not a big deal. But I would have liked to have sufficient amounts of the other ingredients, especially the lettuce. All right. We're being nitpicky. But we like things how we like things in life, don't we? We do. That said, still delicious. Grateful regardless. Sustenance is sustenance. Provisions are provisions. And we love, appreciate, and enjoy them as such. All right. Life ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. No one is. Hmm. These are amazing. All right, so well, that's gonna be a good bite. That tomato mayo we bite. Mm. Still fire though, honestly. Anybody who knows the Whopper experience knows that this this next bite. <laughs> that's the one. I got a couple subscriber sponsor requests coming up.
two that I ought to bang out. And then two pending based off decisive information. I have to do research and then get back to them. This is cool. Challenges the mind a little bit. When the crave is real and then you get the crave, it just, it's different. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just makes life different. That honestly makes, that's a little bit of a perfect commercial shot right there. So I was thinking about this today, how you look at your life now and maybe you like see things now that you're more interested in or you, you think, oh shit, I should have done that because that would have been cool in terms of like a career or whatever. Not that anything's too late really at this point, but could still do. But I've always thought being a pilot would be cool. would be a very interesting fun enjoyable exciting adventurous career because I like piloting vehicle vehicles like so riding dirt bikes and drive just driving like I'm into that stuff I like driving things I like piloting things I'm very capable at it um, as far as all the instrumentation in the cockpit and all that stuff, that's a whole nother can of worms that is intimidating. I could figure it out, but I'm sure it's intimidating. That being said, I think a lot of the actual functionalities of a plane nowadays are pretty much automated. I think you're just there to execute some initials and some executions, so takeoff and landing. In the interim, I think it's pretty much all good, baby. But uh, you're also there to be the manual individual to take over if things start to go awry, I think is really what your main job is as a pilot. Now, I don't know for sure, but if there's any pilots out there, let me know. But I think that's pretty much it. Genius bite coming up next. But um, that reminded me of a story. A little bit of a story. Which kind of tripped my mind was when you think of like certain professionals as it equates to alcohol and things like that and just you getting into some shit. Um, my sister used to have a condo, massive condo, but she with three roommates. Or no, sorry, two roommates, three including her. And I used to go hang out and have drinks, drink sometimes. And her one roommate was a pilot. So he'd sit down and kind of shoot the breeze with us. And I'd talk to him about his career because it was interesting to me. And uh, I should say also her other roommate was a st stewardess. So they both lived the jet set lifestyle. Um, 
So I would talk to them about it, but specifically this pilot man. Talking about how they fly places and sometimes we have layovers in other regions of the world. And you and your staff or whoever, you might get into some parties and stuff. Because if you're into that, we all be human, right? We're just trying to have a fun time in other territories. Excuse the big breath. Um, and I go like, But what if you get like on a true bendy, like, or you go deep one night and you wake up and you're like, uh, like I can't fly and you're supposed to fly. Like, you, like you're the pilot and people are depending, like it's time to fly. And he just goes, he's like, we party. And in my industry, there's a, there's a general terminology or phrase that we use and it's 12 hours bottled throttle. And apparently in the aviation and piloting world, that's like the rule is like 12 hours from your last drink until you take off is an acceptable, possibly legal amount of time until your flight takes off. <laughs> and I was kind of like floored by that answer, but Gang of napkins. Because I don't know, it's like, I've gone hard sometimes, and like 12 hours is enough time to get back to square, but at the same time, I don't know. Given your career, given that position. If you just had some general couples, some some drinks, then yeah, whatever. Which is interesting to me. I was like, I don't know. It depends how hard you go, I guess. I mean, if you know you're going to fly people, you probably wouldn't go that hard. But once again, we're all human and not everybody has that same level of self-control, especially when substances kick in. So it's like, am I flying with a sketchy anxiety got too screwed up pilot today? Possibly. Very possible. But just something that I was thinking at the time. Okay. Though not that much lettuce, those were amazing. Not gonna lie. Oh, very, very good. Nice and saucy. And they just hit the crave spot. Perfect. So, that being said, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. Don't fly drunk, unless you're a passenger, of course, because that's the only way to fly. And stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.